Hi, this is Scott Hanselman, and I wanted to give you a really quick tour of some of the new HTML editing that is built into Visual Studio 2012 and ASP.NET. We made a number of cool changes to the HTML editor in this version of Visual Studio. And all this stuff that I'm going to show you works in web forms or web pages or MVC or any static file that you'd like to make. The HTML editor affects all aspects of ASP.NET. So the improvements that I'll show you, you get them everywhere in ASP.NET. Let me switch over to my application. This happens to be a web forms application. Doesn't really matter though. You'll notice that I'm inside of a master page here. And this master page is showing up as HTML5. We're detecting the doc type. I could even change that doc type. I could paste in a HTML 4.01 doc type. You'll notice that we've detected that here in the web source editor toolbar. We can see that it knows that it's HTML 4.0. If I come down and try to use an HTML5 tag like header, or footer, or audio, you see those aren't there. The IntelliSense is smart enough to understand that. If I switch it back with undo to HTML5, type in audio or footer, it knows about those things. We've got not only really great element support, we know about all the new tags, but we've even got better smarts for things like meta character set. You can see that the common choices are available to us there. I can come in here and I can type in something like audio tab. This is file enter. Notice that I've got tag matching. I can select audio, type a new tag. I don't have to change the beginning and the end of that. It's all automatic. We've got new support for inputs, including all the HTML5 types like date, time, image, tell, all that stuff as well as the accessibility features, the new ARIA attributes that are in HTML5. All of those are available as well. Now in the example there, I used a snippet to type in audio. I could type in video, tab, get a video. I could also drag in an MP3. Let me grab one off of my desktop and drop it directly onto the editor, and I get an audio tag automatically. So you've got snippets, you've got drag and drop of rich media files. I could drag and drop a grid view control, for example. We've seen this kind of thing before. But I've got a new smart tag here. This is the smart tag that you're used to seeing in the design view. Well, that smart tag is now available in the HTML view, where a lot of developers like to spend their time. Here I'm adding a couple of fields. I hit OK, and it's writing out that control for me, and I can always get back to those smart tags directly from here without having to switch into design view. I can even get event handler generation from here. I could type in on and, for example, grab the on load. Create a new event. Hit F7 and I can see that that event has been created in the code behind for me. So you've got event handler generation for server-side events without design mode. Visual Studio automatically generates the results. All of this stuff is not just in web forms, of course. This is everywhere, as I said, within Visual Studio. Let me switch over to an MVC application. Now I'm looking at a Razor view. This Razor view is uh, like all of the ASP.NET templates, all HTML5 by default. This one happens to be using header, hgroup, all built in. I've got the same IntelliSense, the same doc type support, and I've got snippet expansion, not just for the tags that you know how to use, but also convenience ones. Div C, for example, gives me div class. All of this available everywhere in ASP.NET and the new HTML editor. We hope you enjoy it. Thank you.